Hello all, my name is Meg Fournier. I am the Performing and Media Arts Director with the Maine Arts Commission, and I am also the State Coordinator for the Maine Poetry Out Loud program. Joining me, I have Ryan Layton, our Marketing Director for the Maine Arts Commission, and we are delighted to welcome Gorham High School senior, Emily Peruk, who is also this year's Poetry Out Loud Maine State Champion. We also have Carrie Hurley, who is an English teacher and the Poetry Out Loud coordinator at Gorham High School. Welcome. So Emily was named our Poetry Out Loud state champion in March after competing in our regional and state finals competitions. And Emily will represent the grand state of Maine at the National Poetry Out Loud finals, which will kick off virtually this weekend. Uh, the semifinals are of course this Sunday, May 2nd. So Emily, we are so thrilled to have you representing Maine. Um, tell us a little bit about what draws you to the art of poetry and what brought you to start competing in Poetry Out Loud. Well, the first draw, I do have to give credit to my older sister, Olivia. She was the first um, competitor uh, in, the, in our school's Poetry Out Loud competition. Um, she did it all four years. And um, when she was a junior, I was I came in as a freshman and I was just really excited to also join her in um, the poetry process because I always watched her like memorizing and studying a poem and really finding something that she that intrigued her and just bringing the words to life just watching her do it gave me excitement and then made me want to start doing it. Um, and so I freshman year was like, yes, I'm going to do it. And I really love I do love just thinking about how poetry, you really have to slow down and dig deep into the words and the meaning and then bringing them to life, I think, is what really drew me in. So, yeah, it was the combination of um, following the older sister and also just enjoying the art of poetry. Great. Great, great. Um, so Emily, for the regional and state finals, uh, you, you competed and recited the three poems. Um, you recited Once the World Was Perfect by Joy Harjo, uh, Fairy Tale Logic by A.E. Stallings, and Often Rebuked, Yet Always Back returning by Emily Bronte. Which one of these poems did you enjoy the most? What was it about the poem in particular that really drew you into it? It helps me when I'm reciting a poem to connect to it personally in, in some sort of experience. Um, but I do think, I, th I think um, Once the World Was Perfect really just feels really current, really important in this time right now. Um, thinking about all that's going on and what we're learning and trying to correct things that might have been wrong in the past. So I really enjoyed um, bringing those important words to life. It made me reflect on our own history. And I think sh being able to share it to other audience members also made it really exciting to recite. There we were, right back where we had started. We were bumping into each other in the dark, and now we had no place to live since we didn't know how to live with each other. Then one of the stumbling ones took pity on another and shared a blanket. A spark of kindness made a light. The light made an opening in the darkness. Everyone worked together to make a ladder. A wind clan person climbed out first into the next world. And then the other clans, the children of those clans, their children and their children, all the way through time to now, into this morning light to you. So Carrie, tell us a little bit about the Poetry Out Loud program at Gorham High School and uh, what drew you to the program? We've done it for a long time. I, I should have done my research. I don't know how many years, but many years. I think almost all of the years that it's been in Maine. And actually, we had a former principal, and um, he was really into poetry, and he had forwarded me um, information about the program. 
And so that's kind of how we got our start. And it's just kind of grown throughout the years. Um, a couple years in, we added a faculty poetry out loud where we ask um, teachers and Emily can attest this, we didn't do it this year, but we ask teachers to recite poems and most of them, I would say almost all of them are not poets. And so it's it's was really fun to kind of see that kind of come to life for both the faculty and we invite the, you know, the whole student body to, to watch. Um, many times watch us stumble as, as teachers. That kind of, I think, embedded a culture of Poetry Out Loud. And of course, we've had amazing students, um, Emily included, and who have done really well in the, in the program. And so I just think um, it grew every year and I kind of became the crazy poetry lady um, in our department and, you know, pushed, you know, I thought it was important that all students try it, you know, so every year, um, all students recite poems in their classrooms, um, much to the chagrin of some students. But by the time they get to senior year, I think it's, I don't know, Emily, you can speak to this, but in some ways it's a rite of passage. You know, they've done it for four years and, um, and you know, there, there's at least a, a badge of honor in doing it. Um, so so that's, the, that's the quick answer. I love that, that the teachers can do a competition amongst themselves. That's fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, it's so fun for the students to watch because normally it's always like, oh, you have to put this, the students are the ones who have to stand up in front of the class. And then like to watch a teacher do it is like, yeah, they do understand the difficult, like it is nerve wracking and it's, it's fun to be on the other side. <laughs> uh, to follow up, I, I presume you've been working with Emily in the, in the regional and the state finals, maybe to get her more prepared for the competition. Um, did you practice any skills and, and techniques and, and, and what, what, what was that uh, that got, kind of got you prepared for that competition? You know, I don't have a ton to do with it other than my wild enthusiasm and organizing all the logistics. So, you know, Emily picked her poems and we, we did some recitation in class and, um, but then Moira really worked with her one-on-one -on -one to prepare her for both the regional competition and beyond. So I don't know, Emily, if you want to talk about the work that Moira, you and Moira did together. Yeah, yeah, it was really, really exciting because I had, um, for the state, like we had to choose the pre 20th century poem since I hadn't had that in the first two. Myra really helped me break down Emily Bronte's like words and like really trying to get at the deeper understanding of the poem. Today, I will seek not the shadowy region. Its unsustaining vastness waxes drear. In visions rising, legion after legion bring the unreal world too strangely near. I'll walk, but not in old heroic traces, and not in paths of high morality, and not among the half-distinguished faces, the clouded forms of long past history. I'll walk where my own nature would be leading. I think that is also a super important part of recitation is you have to understand what you're saying and in the tone of the poem. And so we just met on Zoom and we did like back and forth, like, what was your interpretation? What was your interpretation and like meeting of like what feels right for me? And like what what how would um, Emily Bronte's poem in, interpreted in a certain way work best for my recitation. So it was real. I learned a lot working with her. <laughs> and it's also it should be also noted that you know probably in this uh, this program's history, it's unprecedented that we're having a virtual competition. Um, that in itself, you know, learning and and reciting over the the video medium um, definitely presents its own set of unique challenges. And you've been working with our uh, very talented. Uh, teaching artist Brian Evans Jones. Hi, I'm Brian Evans Jones. What has that experience kind of been like? Uh, what kind of new methods and techniques has he has he been teaching you to get you prepared for the national stage? He gave me like very specific things that I could change um, with my voice to create new meaning, such as um, changing the volume of it. There are so many different things that volume can convey. Or the pitch, you can go high or low. Yes! 
and also pace. Pace. And pausing. If you're not pausing, your recitation is probably not working. Those techniques were just things I think I was just incorporating like unconsciously, but he helped me like consciously choose when to use those um, vocal techniques to shift the tone of the poem of a match when the poem shifts. So I, it was, it was really incredible just spending time working on it. Emily, you are a senior. What are your plans after Poetry Out Loud and the end of the school year and all that fun stuff? <laughs> Yeah, so I will be going to um, Ryder University in New Jersey, and I'm going to be studying acting there. So I'll be getting a major in acting. So I'm, I'm very, very excited. Um, I love their program and their community seems so welcoming and friendly. So I'm so excited um, to be heading there next year. And um, who knows, maybe I'll pick up a minor as well, um, continue writing on the side. <laughs> so the, I'll see where, where future opportunities take me. That's great. Well, so Emily, we are so excited to watch you compete on Sunday, which is okay. May 2nd, um, with the national semifinals. So this is a virtual competition. You've already recorded your recitations and submitted them. So do you have any special plans to watch? Are you going to do like a watch party with family? What are you going to do? Yes, we're definitely going to like um, air. We, we have an Apple TV, luckily, that we've been. This has been really helpful this year to like all the streaming things on YouTube or through email. We can like apple play it to our tv so we're gonna like set it up on the tv grab some lunch and popcorn and <laughs> set up our little tv meal in front so yeah well it'll be it'll be me and my parents in my house and my sister is in college right now so she'll be cheering along um in bar harbor <laughs> and carrie this is a special moment for you too do you have any special plans I mean, I don't have any special plans other than I'm going to make everyone in my house watch as well. And um, and I think our, you know, our English department, we won't be together, but I think we'll all be tuning in. And, you yeah, know, we're so thrilled for Emily. We, you know, it really couldn't happen to like a more talented and enthusiastic person. So I'm, you know, this is where it gets tricky because whenever I have students in there, I'm just like, of course, they're going to win everything. So Hopefully I won't have to throw anything up to, at the TV, but I think I'll be excited. I, I take on like a very sports oriented um, approach to Poetry Out Loud, which, which isn't always the way. So it's probably better that I'm in my living room um, and not in, it's, you know, when, when I'm in the, with everyone else, I end up, you know, hooting and hollering, which is, is good. It's good for my, my students, but people are like, why are you yelling so loud? So. Anyway, we'll, we'll be excited to watch and see what happens. Emily, Ryan had one question that I don't want to forget. Ryan had a okay. question for you based on the bio that you submitted. He's itching to ask you this, so <laughs> Ryan ask. Oh yeah, yeah. It, I, I enjoy listening to all the different bios and stuff, but it, yours was the first bio that you said you really like dad jokes. So I'm wondering if you could uh, send us off with a really nice dad joke. <laughs> yes, absolutely, I'd love to. At what point does a dad joke become a dad joke? Mm -hmm. When it becomes apparent. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's awesome. That's great. Well, for everyone wanting to tune in, Emily will be competing in the first round of semifinals, which will kick off at noon Eastern time on the arts.gov website. We'll put the full URL in the video description um, and post that. Uh, if, you, if Emily here advances on to the national finals, which we're all crossing our fingers and our toes, <laughs> that will be broadcast on May 27th at 7 p.m. Thank you so much, Emily and Carrie, for joining us. Um, we are so thrilled and we cannot wait to see how Sunday goes. Thank you. Thank you for having me and us. Good luck, Emily. Carrie, enjoy the Super Bowl of uh, poetry at your house. <laughs> Thank you. I will. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs>
Thanks, everyone. Uh -huh.